Welcome back to the channel and happy International Stammering Awareness Day or ISAD for short. Now, October 22nd, every year is International Stammering Awareness Day, which is basically a massive celebration of stammering and stuttering. It's brilliant because people share their stories, they come together, they talk more, we get media coverage. We should have media coverage more, but that's a minor inconvenience. But honestly, 22nd of October, every year is such a joyous occasion in the stammering community. And I see myself lucky that I'm a part of that. So today is ISAD 2023, and this is the video that I've made for ISAD. So I really hope you enjoy it. So now I was faced with a dilemma of what to post for International Stammering Awareness Day. I really wanted to make a video. I was really excited to be uploading today, but I just had that mind blank. I was I'm in an eye for ages about what to post. As I posted something on my TikTok, what I posted on my TikTok was a video of me going through a drive through Now drive throughs for me are absolutely terrifying. They used to be, I should say, sorry, absolutely terrifying. And this day I was having a pretty challenging speech day. My speech was not all there, so I recorded myself, I made the order, and yeah, I just posted the TikTok showing what happened. So please go and check that out. That is a brilliant video that I was absolutely petrified to post because it's, you know, you post this, you make yourself quite vulnerable when you post videos like that. But then I started thinking, what can I put on my channel for today? So I thought I would just take you along on my speech journey from what it was a little bit before, but mainly from when I started working on my speech to today. So I'm basically using ISAD as an excuse to talk about myself. But I thought I'd take you back to the start of my working on my speech or WOMS as we call it journey, which goes back to when I joined this Starfish project. So have a little watch as this was my speech the first day of the Starfish project. Could you tell me your name, please? I am Callum Schofield. Thank you very much. And your address? It's Swinner Owl Rugby Bridge. I, I today get yeah, through the um, uh, the Stammer Association group on Facebook to um, a phone the calls and I always try to make sure it doesn't hold me back from things I want to do, but I get to that age now when I feel like what I've been doing previous years, rather than controlling my style, I've been hiding from it. It's really funny watching that back. Not funny in like a hmm way. As I don't think in that video, my speech was as bad as it was back then. Because I was swapping words, I was leaving words out, I was switching and changing. I missed that part of my address because I thought I cannot say this word, so I, I can't say it. He says, sat in a room surrounded by people who stutter and stammer. But that's just the mindset, that's the mental side of things. Now, just for anyone who doesn't know, that from the Starfish Project. The Starfish Project is a three-day course down in Eastbourne, helping people stutter by overcoming the fear of stuttering via breathing technique. Now, the course is run by Anne and David Blight. And this is no exaggeration when I say Anne and David are two of the nicest, best, most absolutely amazing people I have ever met in my entire life. And that's not an exaggeration or this is not a sponsored video. They really, if you ask anyone who's been on Starfish, they'll sing praises of them. Anne is one of the strongest women I've ever met in my entire life. And David is just the most positive, happy man you could come across anyway, they are absolutely brilliant and I owe so much to them. Just absolute heart of gold, incredible people. So I went down on a speech course because I wanted to make a difference. Now, it was a chance encounter with someone about a year before this, but got me set up on Starfish. I had a really bad speech day, so I put a post on the British Stammer Association Facebook support group. And a man commented on the post saying, if you ever just want to chat to someone 
with Starmers, give me a call, we can have a chat. Now this man is called Mark Murphy. And I feel like Mark Murphy should be trying to get some commission from Starfish because he brings a lot of people in. And we spoke for absolutely hours, which is tradition with Mark, as I've later found out. But it was a chance encounter. He opened my eyes and told me all about Starfish. And Mark's absolutely brilliant. We haven't spoke for a while, but it'd be good to really catch up again. And it was so nice. Like the first time in my life, and I was 17 at the time, I think, that I spoke to another person with a stutter about stuttering. The first time. So it just felt incredible. And he planted this little starfish seed. And I knew I wasn't ready then, but the following year, I signed up for the course as my speech was appalling every time me and Mark spoke between then and the, the Starfish course. And then as soon as I came down, that first day I got home, he was the first person I called. That's a lie. He was the second person I called just because I wanted to show off my new technique and thank him so much. So that's how I found out about Starfish. And on the first day, they record your speech. So you see progress. And I remember walking into that room I was already terrified. I was terrified the night before upon arrival. I wanted to lock myself in my room as it's a hotel and not come out. But then people are so welcoming. They feel at ease, it was lovely. And then the next day, serious business starting now. I was very scared, I was very nervous. Then I walk into this room and I see a video camera staring at me. Not a vibe, not a vibe. But we managed it and yeah, it was, it's really funny now that I am saying this on film and put stuff on YouTube and TikTok because filming myself or being on film was my absolute worst nightmare. It's actually watching myself, I hated it. Watching myself stutter, I can't think of anything worse. So to be filmed on the first day, but it's progress because you get filmed on the first day. So guess what you think happens on the last day? So before I talk more about Starfish and my journey, I'm going to show you my last day video. Could you tell me your name, please? Callum Schofield. And your address? Swinner Owl, Rumney Bridge, Caffili, uh, Buffalo. That was one of my well, feared words. Well done. Yeah. Is there anything else you would like to say? All I want to say is thank you to yourself and everyone I've met on this course. Overwhelming, that's... Just look at the difference in that video. I don't just mean speech-wise, but you can see from the way I was sat, the way I was holding myself that I found something a lot more than just a voice on that course. I found hope, I found confidence, I found freedom. And you can see that, I was sat up confident, I was like, Callum Schofield, I was proud, I was so proud. And it's, it's not a quick fix. It's not something you just do, and then it'll work forever. But the most important thing I took away from that course was that I felt like I could speak. I felt like I had a voice and my voice mattered. So that was the start of my journey. And then from there, we somehow got here. And that's what I'm gonna try and fill in those gaps. So I was working on my speech a lot. I went back on Starfish a couple of months later to teach the technique, which is absolutely incredible. And then 2020 lockdown happens. Lockdown suffered a lot of people's speech. A lot of people's speech suffered in lockdown. However, mine, I was making phone calls every day. I was on Zoom calls every day. And then I met Ruben, CJ, and Io. Now these three blokes, who are now very, very close friends of mine, formed the charity Stop Holding Back. And next thing I know, I'm at 7 a.m. reading clubs, 8 a.m. fitness clubs, with these people on Zoom, who I've never met in person, becoming really good mates. We all worked on our speech so hard. 
Now, Stop Holding Back is a charity. It's a charity, and it's more sort of the coaching, the real-life scenarios about getting jobs, speaking to people. It's a lot more nitty-gritty than just a speech technique. And stuff. It's actually making a difference to people in their everyday life, and it's an absolutely brilliant charity, and I am proud to be part of it. I really am. So they really opened my eyes on taking stuttering and running with it, running through doors head on. As it's really nice having these mix of groups, like on Starfish, I got Stop Holding Back and I can combine them to help me move forward on my journey. And it's just really good to have to meet these people. As Ruben, CJ and Io are really good friends of mine. I've been to London and I've stayed in CJ's house, met all his family, <laughs> literally, out of nowhere. And it's just, these are the people you meet through the stuttering community. And that's why I feel like my speech is stronger, is because you work on it. As after Starfish, and we can stop holding back, I would say all of lockdown, I worked on my speech every single day. I worked on my technique, leaving Starfish, all the time. And that's what gets you to progress. You've got to keep working at it. You've got to keep throwing yourself into these contacts, into these speaking situations. And it's just brilliant. I absolutely love it. So it's not a quick fix. But if you work for it, you will get there. And now don't get me wrong. My speech is not always strong. But we all have good days. We all have bad days. We all have challenging days. And it's okay. That's why I try to be so authentic in what I post. That I want to post the good days. I want to post these videos where I'm talking pretty well. But equally, I'm going to post the times that I'm struggling. I'm going to post the times that I can't get the words. I'm going to post the times that my speech is not all there. Because that's real life. Nobody, stutter or no stutter, is fluent 100% of the time. As no, I, I promise, like, and even even it's it, it was it's been a weird it's, these past few months. And me, knowing out, see if a man like Stormzy, man like Stormzy stutters, then surely anyone can. He actually put a tweet up, up to about it that got a really good response, saying that he stutters. It's brilliant. Anyway, I know that first bit was a little bit wishy washy because I go off on tangents and all sorts because I'm a classic teacher that when I get talking, I go all over the place, but. What I want to talk about was how my speech journey isn't just to do with speech. As when my speech is up, it's because my confidence, my esteem, how I feel about myself is also up. So it's a personal development kind of journey. As some people confuse speech and life in the fact that speech and stuttering becomes their life. And achievements are all about being fluent and it's not. Actually, me and the boys from SHP, Stop On It Back, did a really, really good podcast. And there's a clip of it. I'll put the link in the description below where we talk about praying influence. It's an absolutely sick video. Definitely watch it. The link will be in the description. But for me, my biggest sort of way of progressing moving forward is just speaking. Just finding any opportunity to talk and not holding back. Just real life scenarios talking to my friends on the Xbox on chat party, ordering my own food, as my mum did that for me for years, until I was stupidly old. That made first dates really interesting. I, I did do a good comedy sketch about that, but I don't do stand-up anymore because it's not the best when you're a teacher doing some inappropriate jokes, but still. <laughs> it's just those little moments, like some programmes and courses will have you believe you need to stand on a box in a city centre and speak in front of a crowd to prove that you overcome stuttering and depend on fluency and people will clap because you're speaking fluently or standing on a box. When in my life have I had to stand on a box in Birmingham city centre and make it a one minute speech? That's not preparing you for life. What prepares you for life is doing those things, these everyday day to day interactions and doing the things now that you wouldn't have done before. That's the bottom line. Like the TikTok video I posted, which again, the link will be in the description for that. That was a success because I used to be so petrified of drive-throughs, but I still went 
I went on the drive through I ordered what I wanted. Yes, I stuttered my absolute mind, stuttered out my mind, but I got what I wanted. And that's what it's about. It's when you feel that little bit of nerves, when you feel that anticipation that you're out of your comfort zone, that's what you need to be doing more of. As if you get stuck in your comfort zone, you're never going to be authentically free to express yourself. I don't mean fluently, I mean authentically. And saying what you want to say when you want to say it. It's as easy as that. If you are saying what you want to say when you want to say it, then what more can you actually ask for? As, as I found that like right now, it's been a horrendous couple of months for myself and my family for various reasons. And my speech has suffered greatly because of it. My speech is not where it could be, but I know the reasons why. And we're building our way back up. And I'm not worried about it. I, I don't I don't care if I step there because I know where I want to be and I'm working towards it. The point is I'm not holding back. And that's where it should be. Now, alongside my speech journey, I talked a little bit earlier about personal development, that kind of journey. The biggest sort of momentous sort of time period for me was when I worked in a school for two years. Now, I never in my life thought I would work in a secondary school. You know, my own secondary school days, I had names called, I had people laugh at me, picked on, you know, all different kinds of things happened in my school days because of my stir. So why on earth would I go back to school? But I did. And it was absolutely amazing because I found my passion. I found what I wanted to do. I found what I absolutely loved. And I was so lucky. I had such a supportive boss and team. St. John's, I miss you all very much. It was an amazing school and it made me find what I wanted to do as I'm now trained to be a teacher. And I never expected that. And it wasn't always easy, but I disclosed to the kids in a couple of other of my videos that I talked about. There's a time that when I told my year seven class, I got a stutter. Suddenly all 12 of them were, so I got a stutter too, and me, sir, and me, because they all wanted to be like Mrs. Schofield. I could have cried that day when that happened. That was so emotional for me that this sort of albatross around my neck for years was now something that was cool it was international time awareness day two years ago actually i remember it so well my year seven people i'm getting emotional talking about it as i was a one-to-one -one, bought me a coffee and then said that's for you sir for helping me i think having a set is cool Oh, the tears that I could have let out when that happened. It was just brilliant. And it's just things like that, that I would have never expected to do. That's a common theme in my life is how did I end up here? Like, how did I end up as a primary school teacher? But it's just by talking and taking those opportunities. Because would I have went into that school a few years ago? Absolutely not. Would I went into any school? Would I have went into my job interview with confidence. I spoke about my stutter in my job interview for St. John's. I said, that when I said, is there anything you, you, you would like to add or say? I said, I know what it's like to be the kid that's different to their peers. I know what it's like. I can relate. I've been there. I've been the kid that's got something that no one else has got. So I can relate. And I honestly think that helped me get the job because I was open and I got compliments on how I spoke and how thank you for sharing that because you've got to let people in you've got to share you've got to have those support around you and talk to people about your speech and your journey talk to people about how you came from a to b with a bit of c d e f g mixed in it's not a straight road and that's just something that's been so important to me is the more i've talked the more open i've been about my stutter the way I felt about myself and the way my life has gone has definitely gone up. If you can see a graph about how Callum talks about his stutter to Callum's life, it's better because there's no hiding, there's no shame, there's no guilt. It's just speech. And now I'm at the point that I'm training to be a special needs teacher, trying to get a noticeable YouTube channel. Two things that I never thought I could do never even crossed my mind and back on that first day on the starfish project when i said my name as the first day from that first video we have gone back we've done a full circle it's lovely 
a few half an hour later, I said my name for the first time without stuttering. And when I did, I broke down in tears. I have absolutely no shame in it. The, the gentleman sat opposite me, looked at me and said, real men cry. And I was absolutely bawling my eyes out because I never thought I could say my name. And I remember in that moment thinking, I don't care what happens next. I don't care what happens after because I've just said my name. Anything else is a bonus. And I've tried to keep that mindset that this is all just a bonus. This is more than I ever could have expected or wanted as a child, but I still don't think I could. So this right now is my bonus. The fact I get to do a job that I love is my bonus. The fact I'm making content for YouTube and TikTok is a bonus. And that's why I feel quite lucky. And that's why I try to have this positive outlook and enjoy things and just enjoy what I do and be a bit happier. As I know I can be grumpy and angry and irritable and all those things, but that doesn't help anyone. And then I go back to that, that mind of, this is your bonus. This is something you never could have expected. And then I'm happy again. And it's, for me, you just got to find that little phrase or that little something that grounds you and takes you back. It's sort of like that NLP, CBT oh, thing when you have like a grounding point thing when you sort of like do an action and it, you think of a memory. It's like a, a proton, protonless charm? Proton, that, that Harry Potter charm thing, you know, when you think of a memory. And my memory is saying my name for the first time. Proton, why can't I? That's nothing to do with that. It's just me not being able to speak. Protonless? That's going to wind me up now. But it's just having those moments to ground you. As when I'm having a bad day, well, a bad day, as Anne White would say, is when you don't wake up. But when I'm having a challenging day, if I can look back and say I'm still doing what I want to do and still doing more than I would have done before, then that's okay. Whether that's staying, staying lying down in bed all day with a hangover, if I'm sending voice notes and videos to my friends going, oh, I feel so ill, I would still have never sent these videos of voice notes before if someone sent me a video i was terrified to open it so now i can do these facetimes and calls and all that it's okay just give yourself credit for how far you've come and just stay humble as my this is a bonus is my way of staying humble to where i've come from and how happy i was when i said my name and I think that's quite a good place to wrap up this video. That's just a little bit about my speech journey. I know we've gone to lots of different points, but just to sum up, my speech journey, starfish always, always, always will have my heart. Stop holding back. Friends for life through there. Absolutely brilliant. Please check them out. And just live in your life how you want to. Do things that scare you. Don't make speech your life. Make it the the, the sort of byproduct as I live my life how I want to with my speech I don't live it for my speech my speech doesn't control it I'm out doing what I want to do because I want to not for my speech get into the habit of doing what you want to do so yeah that's my message on this lovely international stammering awareness day 2023 as always thank you so so much for watching like, I appreciate every single one of you that watch. I really, really do from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. It means so much. If you can like, share, subscribe, it all means a lot. And it's just trying to get out there, trying to get these videos to people who need to hear them, really. I think that's what it's about. So thank you all. I appreciate you watching. And I can't wait to see you again on the next video.